Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. I am Jamara J. Smith and it is my desire to help you find your purpose, fulfill your destiny, and to have successful relationships in every area of your life. If you are new to my channel, go ahead and click the subscribe button so that you can be a part of the Jam Fam. And don't forget to comment below your thoughts on today's topic. I want to talk about the power of believing, the power to have the faith to believe. You know, a lot of times we'll believe and trust God for something in the beginning. We're so excited. We cannot wait for the manifestation, but it's during those times of the waiting period that the journey where we're being stretched, where our capacity to receive what we're believing is being enlarged. That is the time where sometimes we can have doubts and lose faith. But we know that faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God, Romans 10, 17. And if you're constantly in faith, you know the key to that is constantly hearing the word of God and actually studying the word of God. Whatever situation you're in, it is always best to find a scripture in the word of God to stand on that scripture in the midst of you believing and waiting for it to come through. And a lot of times we think we're waiting on God when really God is waiting on us. The key also is knowing um, Hebrews 11 and 1. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. You don't see it. It doesn't look like it's going to happen. Matter of fact, it looks worse than when you when you started in, from the beginning. It doesn't even look, it looks nowhere near um, like it's going to come to pass or it is going to happen. It doesn't look like it at all. But you cannot go by what you see in the physical realm. See, we have to stay in the spirit. And when we, when we stay in the spirit, then it'll give us the hope and the trust that we need in order to continue to believe in faith in the, in the natural realm, in this physical realm. And, you know, sometimes we get a little bit familiar with God and the way that he has worked in our past. And we kind of reflect back on that and think that is going to happen in that same way. You can't get so familiar with God where you put him in a box and you expect for him to do the same thing the same way. God is an uncommon, unusual God. And the way that he is going to come through for you now is not the way that he's done it in the past. And that's what's so surprising to you. And that is why you're, you're sometimes questioning, you know, the way things are, you know, manifesting and happening in the way that it's going, going down, uh, we should say, but you have to understand that God is doing it. It's a fresh wind. It's a fresh fire. It, we're in a new season. You can't expect for God to move the way that he did in the past because that's not the way it's going to happen. Don't get so familiar with the way God did things in the past and think that it's going because it doesn't look like that now that it's not going to happen. No. If you notice when you get around someone who's just received Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior, they have, you know, such excitement. They just believe and trust God at his word. They'll get a scripture. And if they see a scripture and they believe on that on, and, and stand on that scripture, they just believe it. They don't have any doubts. They don't question God. Why? Because they haven't gotten so familiar with the way that God moves that it will distract them from what God is doing in their lives right now, which is a lot of times why they will receive their manifestation quicker because their faith has been, it's, it's escalated. It's, it's like their faith is fresh and they just trust and believe God like a childlike faith. They just believe that when God says he's going to supply their needs according to his riches and glory in Christ Jesus, Philippians 4 and 19, they believe it and it's done. They'll ask, they'll believe, and they receive. Why? Because they stand on the scripture. They stand on the word of God. They haven't become so familiar with how God has moved for them in the past that they're stuck, that they just want to stay in that mindset. Okay, well, God did it this way the last time, so I'm sure he's going to do it the same way this time, but I don't see it in that aspect. I don't see he's moving in the same way, so that means something must be wrong. No, nothing is wrong. He's just doing it differently this time. He is showing up and showing out in a whole new way. And you have to be willing um, to be able to receive it in the way that it's going to come. Dream big. 
Whatever it is that you want, whatever it is you need, whatever it is you desire, God is a good God. He is here to manifest the promises of God in his life. He loves you with an everlasting love. And it is his good will. It is his good pleasure to give his children good gifts. The same way your earthly father gives you gifts and wants to bless you and see you happy and loves you is the same way our heavenly father. He loves us. He wants to give us good gifts. It is his pleasure for us to be happy because he loves us. We are his children. So don't feel like God is just somewhere sitting up high and looking down low at us and trying to see how he's going to do things or if he's going to do it. No, he is right there with you, holding your hand every step of the way. Trusting and believing in God is the key. Having faith is the answer to open doors, to opportunities that you never even knew would happen. Favor is, is something that I have learned that will get you in so many doors that your skills or what you think you may qualify for doesn't even matter. The favor of God is so powerful. It moves in such miraculous ways. That's why you can't be so stuck in the way that God used to do things or how he normally does it for you because we're in a new season. God is manifesting in new ways. So open your eyes to all of the possibilities that God has in store for you. Don't be so headstrong on trying to do it your way or manipulating the situation so it can happen for you. Don't do it because it's not going to work. Continue to trust. Continue to believe that if God said it, it shall be. It is going to happen. Know that without a shadow of a doubt, if God told you something, if he gave you a word, and if it's in the word of God, if you read it in the text, you stand on that word. Philippians 4 and 13, I can do all things through Christ that strengthens me. That is everything. Whatever you put your mind to do, I don't care what they say that you, what qualifications that you need or whatever the case may be, what experience you need. God said it. I believe it. That settles it. Okay. God said it. I believe it. And that settles it. It's according to your faith that the doors will be open, that you don't have room enough to receive. I don't care what anybody says to you. And if anyone is not standing strong with you, don't tell, and also, you know what? Don't tell everybody everything. Some things you just need to keep to yourself until it manifests. It's not meant for you to tell every everybody everything. Look at Joseph. Joseph told his brothers his dreams and look what happened to Joseph. Sometimes it's good to just keep things to yourself until God permits you to release it. Okay. I pray that you receive this uh, inspirational word on today. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And until next time, I will see you at the next video. Bye-bye.